Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you where you can make $100 a day and pretty much start from scratch with a work from home job for entry level beginners that really doesn't require any experience or degree at all to apply. So what you can do is go to conduent.com and this is a business process services company and they offer digital platforms for businesses and governments. You can go to the top right of the page to find their careers right there. And then when you click on that, you'll be redirected to jobs.conduent.com. You can click find jobs. And then what you want to search for is the virtual customer experience advocation, morning to mid shift, work from home, or any other kind of virtual customer experience associate or something like that. So usually they'll have more than one of these available. And these are full time jobs. So you get full time hours. You're making around $13.50 an hour to start. And again, that's around $100 per day. What they're looking for is excellent communication skills, able to type at least 25 words per minute. So if you don't know your word per minute typing speed, you can go to typingtest.com and just click start test. They also want keyboarding and software proficiency, great problem solving skills, able to multitask, high school diploma, GED, or college degree. So again, you don't need a college degree as a requirement ability to successfully complete a mandatory paid training program and if hired a criminal background check is required um, job track description here you'll have to do things based on procedures in some areas you may be required to have vocational training certifications things like that and they tell you right here it's an entry-level position with very uh, few requirements for things like licensing training certifications again they provide you with the paid training you need and they also mentioned here that customer service experience is a plus but not required. They're looking for people with a passion for customer service, natural empathy, and determination to deliver uh, a comprehensive solution. And so they're just kind of looking for more like a certain type of person than a certain resume, mostly for this type of job. And again, you're doing customer support. Um, you'll have to assess calls and things like that. So you'll probably have to spend a little time on the phone and you'll do routine call center activities concerning business products and services. You'll use standard scripts and established guidelines and things like that. So really, if you're just a good communicator, you should be able to apply for this type of job. And you can apply by clicking the blue button here at the top right of the page. As far as reviews for Conduent, from what employees have said, they have a 3.1 out of 5 star overall rating. And as far as benefits, they do have some listed on Glassdoor.com as well. What you want to do is look for the employer verified ones. So you see things like health, dental, vision insurance, life insurance, things like that. You have uh, things like retirement plans and um, a few things along those lines. You have maternity and paternity leave, military leave, work from home. And then so you can just kind of go through these different ones here. Look for the ones that are employer verified, of course. And then you can get an idea of what types of benefits they may offer. If you're looking for another type of work from home job, very similar to that, that's customer service related, entry level, doesn't really require experience. Another company that's hiring for a lot of these right now is Sykes.com. And a lot of times they're hiring for these throughout the year. So make sure to check whenever you are looking for something like this check sykes.com and you can find their careers right there at the top right of the page next to locations and resources and once you go here obviously you need to pick whatever country you're located in and uh, North America you can just click the work at home section and then you can click the search button after that and once you do so you'll see lots of different work from home jobs here you will notice under location it'll say work from home you know and sometimes you'll have to be in a specific state or uh, region but just make sure that you apply for the right one so you can type in work from home here if you want to do that and then click search make sure you type it in the location section and then you'll notice that it'll narrow down your results to just the ones that let you work from home and you can see they have 227 jobs available right now so some of these are bilingual some of these are technical support some of these are just customer support agent but they're all going to be fairly similar and they usually don't require you to have experience or a college degree to apply. So you will have to take inbound calls on the phone. That is one thing to keep in mind. This isn't just chat support or something like that. 
You'll be answering questions, troubleshooting issues, providing information, doing all basic stuff like that. They pay you $15 an hour, full-time schedule, 100% paid training. You can also refer a friend and earn $150 for each one of those. And also, as far as what you're required to have, high school diploma or GED, the ability to provide excellent customer service, empathy, professionalism, those types of traits, strong computer navigation skills, uh, search engine experience, obviously pretty much everybody has that, good communication skills, and uh, other than that, they don't mention anything about experience. So what you also need for your home office, at least five Mbps upload and download speeds for your hardwired internet connection. They usually don't want you to use Wi-Fi is why they say that. And then other than that, not a whole lot else uh, required. So you can click the blue button at the bottom to apply. And for Sykes, they have 5.4 thousand reviews with a 3.4 out of five star rating. And again, make sure you know your word per minute typing speed before doing these. Some of them will require that and uh, you can check that at typingtest.com. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.